the first step should always be to have a clean kitchen. Make sure to clean everything up and make it nice before you cook. You don't want a kitchen that looks like this. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Now that your kitchen is clean, you're going to need some things. A cutting board. A cookie sheet with aluminum foil. A deep, large size frying pan for mixing. A big mixing bowl. Small dish to keep things in. Several small dishes, actually. And just for good measure, have an extra one on hand. A good chopping knife. A measuring spoon. A good mashing device. Meat thermometer. Spatula for mixing. Nice sealable bag. And if you're like us, lazy, get a food processor. For ingredients, you're going to want to start with your pork rinds. One bag of them. Some Brussels sprouts. Between a half pound to a pound, depending on the, how many people you're going to be serving. We went with three quarters. A package of bacon. Five to ten slices of bacon is good. You're going to need a packet of ranch dressing. Two tablespoons of minced garlic to go with your Brussels sprouts. And of course, your pork chops to be breaded and baked. Here's the recipe. Begin the process by turning your oven on bake at 375 degrees. Take your pork rinds and put them in the sealable bag. Seal the bag up and then smash them with a hammer, making them into nice powdery dust. Once you have them in a nice ground form, you want to mix your ranch dressing into the bag. Seal it up very tight because you don't want it going everywhere, and shake it up really nice and thoroughly. Once you have the mix all figured out, you want to run cold water and rinse off the pork chops in the water before putting them into the bag with the breading. Generally one or two at a time, you want to get them in the bag and shake them up all good and thorough. And then when you're done with that, you want to slowly and carefully put them onto your cookie sheet so that they are nicely arranged with some space between them. Look at that. Nicely arranged. Now just go ahead and spread a little bit more of your uh, breading, the pork rinds, on top of your chops. And then put them into the preheated oven and set a timer for 40 minutes. Now that we've completed the pork chops, now we're on to the Brussels sprouts. Here's the recipe. First you want to take out some of the bacon, because bacon is good. Bacon. You want to cut it up into small strips. Yeah, just like that. And you want to take those strips and you want to move those to the hot, the heated frying pan where you will then use the spatula to break them apart. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Nice and sizzling in the grease, because the grease is the part of the keto diet you want, a high fat content. Then you take your Brussels sprouts and you open the bag and you pour them out onto your cutting board. If you have a cutting board like ours, that is, with a nice strainer. Otherwise, just rinse them in the sink first. Once you've got them nice and rinsed, you want to take them out and cut the stem off. Once the stem is cut off, you want to cut them into slivers like that, shredding the Brussels sprouts. If you're like us, you'll probably use a food processor. When it's all done, they should look about like this. A nice big bowl filled with shredded Brussels sprouts. Oh, look at that bacon sizzling nicely. It's all ready to go. Throw in that garlic those two tablespoons that you measured out of garlic, minced garlic, mm, you can just smell it in the room. Now it's time to add the Brussels sprouts. Get those mixed in that frying pan there, your heated frying pan, with all the oil. You want to get the Brussels sprouts all mixed up with the bacon and the oil, the bacon grease, the fat, the lard, the good stuff, the flavory, savory stuff. Get to make sure it's all mixed in, and salt and pepper to taste. Once you have it all set up nicely, looking good, you want to move it to a back burner to let it just sit and rest on warm. You don't want to overcook it, you just want it to be wilting slightly so there's a good crunch. Oh, time to pull them out of the oven. The golden brown breaded pork chops, pork loin chops. About nine ounces each. You want to make sure your temperature is adjusted properly. It's got to be upwards of 140 degrees. If it's lower than that, you'll need to put them back in the oven. It looks like we're pretty solid on this, though.
Now we dish them out. For a normal person, you'd want to have a single pork chop along with some side greens. For a bigger person like myself though, I'm probably going to have two pork chops. A meal this size is good enough for a family of four pretty easily, or two big men like me to have. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your pork chops.